thinking. I know you see me on the television. I know you see me on the YouTube. But you don't know me in real life, little homie. You better play it cool. Love you, cousin Shrill. If you don't like me, then do somebody. If you mad about it, then do somebody. If you broke, nigga, then do somebody. If you ain't getting bitches, then do somebody. Do somebody. Do somebody. Do somebody. Boy, you better do somebody. What's up YouTube, it's your favorite cousin Tripp and I'm back with another banger. Pow pow, you already know what time it is. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and, uh, you know, consider joining the fam. This is, this is Tripper Plugs, man, and we lit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're already part of the family, go ahead and thumbs up this video, because you know, it's a banger. You know, because that's all I, it's really, that's all I know how to do. You know, but what I wanted to talk to y'all about is, um, you know, love language. And I ain't talking about, you know, uh, city girls, um, you know, English dollars and French or whatever they be talking about. I'm talking about what's your love language? What's your partner's love language? And if you haven't heard this saying before, you know, um, it's a real thing, you know. Um, you know, in most relationships, a lot of times when a relationship first starts, it's all hot and heavy and you seeing the best of a person. You know, when a person is dating you and courting you and you falling in love, you get the best of them. You know, and a lot of times that lasts for a couple of years, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. And then after that, you start, you know, reverting back to who you was before the relationship started. But there are some things that you can do to keep your love alive. And one, I believe, is knowing your partner's love language okay so there's five love languages the first love language that i want to speak about is uh words of affirmation now words of affirmation is anything from telling your partner you know uh you're so talented i believe in you um encouragement words of encouragement you look great today you know um i love your smile your hair looks nice you smell good you know um Things like that are words of affirmation. You know, you can do it. I believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Have a great day at work, baby. You know, some people miss that in a relationship, you know. And I've seen a couple of relationships that they don't encourage each other, you know. And if that's your partner's, you know, love language and you're doing the other ones but not doing that, they can sometimes feel like they're not loved because you never encourage them. You know, uh, if they uh write scripts you never willing to read the scripts and tell them you know you're doing a good job or you know helping them encouraging them you know this is very important when it comes to uh people who love languages love of uh, words of affirmation you know make sure you don't forget to encourage your partner because that's what a partner is supposed to do. You pretty much there to help usher them into their God-given purpose. You know what I'm saying? If your partner is a seed and God is the son, you are there to water them. You know, you're not supposed to change them or make them into to be what you want them to be. You're just supposed to encourage them and help them get to their true potential and the true beauty that's within them. You know what I'm saying? So words of affirmation, man, you know did a great job you know you got a job interview today baby you're gonna kill it i believe in you you know uh, you look nice today just a little bit more of that you know what i'm saying now the second love language that i want to speak about is quality time you know um do you spend enough quality time with your partner you know and quality time could be anything from like having a meal together at night you know um going for walks together uh you know having baby time or date night and spending time together a lot of time we get so busy in our world and and the things that we doing we constantly on the grind trying to make money that we never have time to spend quality time with a person and like i say if you're doing the other things, telling a person, yo, I love you, you're great, but you're never spending time with them, they're going to feel like they're not loved, you know? You have to put that relationship first, you know, and carve out time to spend with them. You know, any bit of time in a day would do. You know, if y'all get up and have breakfast together, if y'all just go for, you know, if y'all watch your favorite show together, you know, you might not like... Uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, but your girl love it, you know, so instead of, you know, doing your own thing and letting her watch that, go in there, you ain't got to be paying attention, just go in there, and sit down and watch the show, you know, let her talk to you, you know, quality time, you have to spend quality time together, if that's your love language, 
or your partner's love language, make sure you meet that and, and give them what they need to feel loved and special. Receiving gifts. Some people really like to receive gifts. I mean, it's just a small piece of token that lets you know that I've been thinking about you. Maybe you go out on a trip somewhere and you come back and you bring them a shot glass or something from another country that you visited or, you know, uh, getting your baby a diamond bracelet or when you go into the mall, it ain't got to be that lavish. You know, you go into the mall, you, you, you see a shirt that he might like picking that up. You know, don't just come home with gifts and things for you and never, you know, get anything for your baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bring it home some flowers. You know, uh, she running out of her favorite perfume. So you stop by the mall and picked her up a new bottle. You know, these things are gifts. And sometimes these are things that make people feel special. If that's your partner's love language, you know, like I say, you could be doing all of those things and never buy them nothing, you know, and always buy things for you. And they can feel like you don't care about them because you're not doing that one thing. You know, and it doesn't always have to be something expensive. Like I said, you can go to uh, Walgreens and pick up a card out the blue, you know, just to say I was thinking about you, you know, or little things, you know, like I say, it could literally be anything that make that person feel special. If that's your partner's love language, make sure you understand what that is, you know, and, and don't neglect that. You know, make that first person feel special. I don't care if you have to, you know, hop the fence of the neighbor and pick some of their flowers and bring them home to your girl or your boy. They will appreciate it. Acts of service. That's the fourth love language, uh, love language I want to talk about. Acts of service is, uh, you know, you they always do the dishes. You say, I'm going to do the dishes tonight. Or if they always cooking, you do. You know, I'm going to cook tonight. You know, if your man out there cutting the grass and that's his thing, you know, go out there and help him. Say, baby, you know, let me help you. Let me, you know, get the weed whacker and uh, start cutting some stuff down. Or let me rake up the grass for you. You know, uh, filling up your girl's car or filling up your boy's car, you know, out the blue. You know, you notice that his car is not filled or, you know, taking it for a car wash. Baby, I took the car to get a detail today. You know, special things like that is what I call acts of service that makes a person feel special. You know, it's a little thing to just let them know that y'all in this thing together. If you do these things and this is your your person's love language, they would appreciate appreciate you a lot more for that. You know, so just be thoughtful of the things that they do every day that you might not have to do. You know, I'm saying and just try to help out pitch in, you know. You know, and instead of them coming home cooking dinner, you surprised them with a meal. You did everything. You know, if they cook dinner, you go in there and wash the dishes. Y'all remember y'all a team and y'all in this together, you know, and it's another way for y'all to spend time together. You know, y'all washing dishes. Y'all can flirt with each other. Y'all go in the kitchen and cook it and do that kind of stuff. Be flirtatious and play and keep those sparks alive. You know, keep a smile on their face. I'm telling you, the love will last a lot longer. Now, the last love language I want to talk about is physical touch. You know, affection, holding hands, you know. And a lot of y'all are not affectionate. I understand or some of y'all, you know, ain't affectionate when you're in public, but you're affectionate in private. You know, whatever works for you. But if this is your partner's love language, I'm telling you, just a touch of the leg, a holding of the hands, a caress, a hug, a cuddle. You know, um, some of them like it a little ranchy. Just, you know, smack them on the ass. You know, if, if this is your partner's love language, they will always feel special because they always feel like you want to be next to them. You want to touch them. You know, when you go to the movie theater, you sit next to them and y'all hold hands up under the thing. Or, you know, when y'all at your homeboy's house or you at your mama's house or something, you playing footsies with them under the table. You know, when y'all driving in the car to go to a location that, you know, Y'all holding hands in a car. You know, when y'all watching TV together, y'all sit close together and y'all cuddle and, and do things like this. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about affection. You know, if y'all ain't never touching and, and holding each other and that's your partner's love language, they're going to feel like they're missing something. You could give them all the other four love languages and never touch them because you're not affectionate and they could be feeling empty. And this is what I'm saying. Know your partner's love language. Get to know them. Know what makes them feel good. You know, and 
vice versa. Y'all both need to, y'all can have different love languages. And a person could be thinking, I'm doing everything to make this person happy, but they just don't seem happy. You know, because you could be doing everything but that one thing that they really need to feel loved. Now, for me, I like to practice in all the love languages. I think that all of them are special and I think that all of them are needed at different times. You know, but one, like I said, that I will always have is affection. I'm always be very affectionate. Um, acts of service, you know, when I was young, uh, my dad, he would open up the car door for his wife. It, it didn't matter. She never touched the car door. You know, if it was raining, wet, snow, he would open up her door first. And that's something that always stuck with me. And I always thought it was special and such gentleman like that my father would do that. You know, so that's something that I love. You know, um, I will always, you know, give words of encouragement and things like that because I want to be the person to encourage the person that I love. I want you to know that I believe in you, you know. So it's nothing to say, have a great day. You're going to do great, baby. I believe in you. You're so talented, smart. Wow, you know, and don't be fake about it. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't, then they ain't. You know what I'm saying? You need to find one who you could really be truthful to with it. But what I'm saying is, if that's your partner's love language, find something that you love about them and compliment them. Compliment them on it. You know, like I said, I practice all five love languages. And that's why, <laughs> you know, I'm trip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, get you a trip. That's all I can say, but I just wanted to, you know, come and holler at y'all and talk to y'all about the five love languages because I really do feel like if we incorporate these love languages, you know, or we know our partner's love language and we do this every day, we can keep the sparks going. And like I say, you know, I know that being in love and being crazy and love and how it feels in the beginning sometimes that can fade but there is a way that you can keep that love alive you know when you're going into a long-term relationship you know keep it spicy keep it hot keep them on their toes keep them smiling always make them feel special and you know ride that thing out no point attended but you know pause or not pause or go. You know what I'm saying? But I love y'all. I hope y'all be in prayer, man. If y'all new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. You know, I just wanted to come up here and talk to y'all about love languages. You know, uno, de, uno, dos, tres, cuatro languages. Five of them. Is that uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco? Yeah. I'm out, man.